Hey, all right guys, today's video, it's about my numbers. Numbers of running my business. Stay tuned. This video is about my numbers uh, that I'm running for my business and um, I'm going to give you a breakdown on it so, uh, so it help those try to figure out. You got to, it's a real good idea to have your numbers on, on your expenses and stuff like that even if it's just an estimate. Um, fuel, like for example, fuel is always going to vary like on this girl here. but. Um, I, matter of fact, it's probably on the, on the engine. I'm probably looking it up. She doesn't do very well when she's fully loaded. Uh, like I did a load not too long ago that was about um, 42,000 pounds, if I remember right. And I've gone up hills with her with that much load, and she slows down pretty much. She slows down to like around 30 something miles an hour with uh, one of the hills on, uh, on Route 81. That's why I don't go up on eight, Route 81 that much unless I have a light load. If I have a light load then I'll take that route back to New England uh, area. But anyway, so back to the topic. <clears throat> now, it's good that you estimate you what your home expenses are, like your um, you know, your rent, your uh, phone bill, your uh, cable bill, all those stuff that you have in your home expenses. Also, I included my is my my car payment, my car insurance, um, what else? Uh, food, groceries. Um, it's not that kind of thing. Those kind of things. Uh, you add it all up, total it for your month, which mine is about uh, thirty five hundred a month, which uh, I break it down to. $175 a day and I'm gonna put some of these uh, these numbers here so that way it'd be um, so you guys could see it now I like doing daily amounts instead of miles but a lot of people do the miles as uh, as their primary uh, figure for some reason I, th I have this think that this mentality thinking that the the daily is more profound than your mile, your mile uh, number but I write it down anyways just to have both my home expenses is comes out to being that's eight hundred and seventy five dollars a week comes to thirty five cents per mile with Paul Miller I haven't done really a lot of 2,500 mile uh, weeks. Um, I've been averaging, as if I recall, somewhere around 1,700, 1,800 miles a week. Uh, I've been trying to get more, but um, they've been doing a lot of um, switching with the uh, uh, dispatchers because they're doing a lot of training and getting new, tr new dispatchers and training them and everything else. Hopefully I'll get my regular dispatcher back soon because he's the one that's doing all the training and I'll be getting more miles or more loads I should say because miles is not profound in this uh, because it's by percentage. Now my business expenses, now my truck, Grace, she's $13.50 a month which I, it's 
a lot better if you, uh, than going to uh, a company and, and leasing their truck and being 700 to like a thousand dollars a week but um, that's the breakdown for for payment on that now my bobtail insurance and my cur uh, comprehensive insurance on grace averages about three hundred and three dollars a day uh, now the company charges me per week uh, thirty two dollars and something cents uh, for the insurance which comes out to hundred thirty dollars a month then also they charge me for the transflow uh, comes up to about seventy one dollars a month now I also have dental vision and accidental death coverage insurance uh, for a hundred and thirteen dollars and sixty cents a month now I personally am doing my maintenance fund trying to get it to like eighteen hundred dollars a month I decided to do that because I want to try to build my maintenance fund as quickly as possible to 20 between 20 to thirty thousand dollars so that way because I have my plan is once I get that uh, amount fund in the maintenance fund that amount of eighteen hundred dollars is going to go to grace to pay grace off sooner the sooner i get grace paid off the better because it's better for my margin better for my profits now i estimate uh, about a hundred dollars a month for if the taxes the fuel tax okay just in case I need to pay for anything, and it's better to have more than not have none at all. So about a hundred dollars. Then also I have a um, business phone and a vir virtual address for my business. That's about sixty bu uh, sixty bucks a month. So that comes out to thirty nine hundred and twenty five bucks. A little bit less. I'm just rounding it up. Which comes out to about $981.15 a week. $196.23 a day. Which comes out to about $0.39 cents per mile. Now, the fuel varies with grace. Because like I mentioned earlier, because the mountains here and east up here in this area and stuff like that, she tends to have good weeks when she doesn't spend as much fuel as she does other weeks now I'm estimating that <clears throat> I'm figuring out that based on 2,500 miles a week uh, she averages um, if I do you know the the hills and everything she does a little better sometimes but minimum 6.5 miles per gallon okay I am in process of uh, doing um, doing some research and other ways to uh, better the gas mileage uh, on Grace. But that's a future uh, video uh, once I figure that out. Now, based on that information, it's about 384 gallons, 80, 385 gallons needed for that uh, mileage and, and, and time. Now, the fuel has been fluctuating. Now, I'm just averaging the fuel about $3.25 per gallon, which comes out to about 1200 bucks. But now my fuel costs, now, some people have different ways of doing this. Uh, and to me, this sounds more the logical way of doing it, but some others, they have different ways of doing it that, that kind of changes it makes the numbers look a little bit better I don't understand that yet but I'm figuring it out now let's say I'm averaging uh, 2,500 miles a week which I haven't yet except for one week uh, which I'm gonna be doing my settlement videos soon and getting them up uh, as soon as I possibly can now 2,500 miles uh, grace is let's say average of uh, 6.5 miles per gallon comes out to 384.62 gallons a week now I'm not going to average the the, the the fuel cost uh, per gallon uh, being around 325 per gallon 
Now that's just the average I'm figuring out because there's some places around here that's about 340. Uh, there's one. There's some places that are 319. So I'm just roughing it out. Now this doesn't include also the tax. Uh, if the tax um, that you know, if you work it out, there's a good chance you could get your you could get money from IFTA instead of owing IFTA. There's a trick to it. I'm still in in practice of it. I think I got it, but I'm not 100% sure until I see my IFTA information. Uh, and also, it doesn't include my um, discounts with uh, the company card and my Lone Mountain fuel card. So uh, we'll see how that comes out. But let's say for now, $3.25 per gallon. Now that comes out to $1,250 uh, a week or 50 cents per mile. Now, <clears throat> based on that, you take the home expense per mile, my business expenses for 39 cents per mile plus the fuel, 50 cents per mile. Now this is just an average. This is just an estimate, the fuel cost, because... Um, I did one week estimate and for some reason it can't it shows like I'm doing 29 cents per mile so right now this is just an estimate until I get all those numbers uh, figured out and see exactly what I'm averaging now Paul Miller doesn't do mileage so the, that's why I say that the, the mileage doesn't really make sense for me that's why I like doing the daily the daily now the business comes out to one hundred and ninety-six dollars and twenty-six twenty-three cents per day for my business expenses. My home expenses comes out to roughly one hundred and seventy-five dollars a day. Now I averaged out the fuel coming to about a, about one hundred and sixty dollars a day of fuel. So I need to gross. Five hundred and thirty-one dollars and twenty-three cents a day. Now, mind you, that's average of the fuel. Um, like I said, I did one estimate uh, on my paperwork that I wrote down. Uh, somehow, I was that week. I did twenty-nine cents per gallon. Um, twenty-nine cents co fuel cost per mile. Uh, I gotta figure that out, see if that is correct uh, with the numbers. But um, so far, that's my breakdown. I hope this uh, helped you guys. Uh, this is a process everyone should do. Every person that wants to be an owner operator or a lease operator should do their costs per day, per mile, whichever way you wanna do it. For me, I prefer the daily. That way I have an idea that, um, let's say for example, my dispatcher calls me and says, hey, hey, we got a load for you uh, that's $400. And I tell them, is that the only load you're giving me? Yeah. Then I'll be like, you gotta give me something else. Give me, uh, either give me this load and then give me another load that, that makes more money to compensate for the difference of my daily for this load that, I, that you're giving me. This is, gives you an idea how to interact with your dispatcher or broker or whoever you guys you're going to be dealing with um and that's why i think you get you know this is a good um figure to go by all right guys so i hope this helps you out if you have any questions or you have anything uh any statements or anything like that post it at the bottom there uh also if you're new to my channel subscribe Hit that like button, hit the bell so you get notifications of my upcoming videos, which I have plans for more coming up soon. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, my settlement videos done by the end of next week, or yeah, the end of next week, and I'll have them be posted probably daily or once a week. All right, guys, you have a good one. Be safe, keep it sunny side up, rubber side down, and be blessed and strive for success.